Agau, in Italian and Romance Argovia, see also other names, more formally the Canton of Agau, is one of the 26 cantons forming the Swiss Confederation. It is composed of 11 districts and its capital is Aro. Agau is one of the most northerly cantons of Switzerland. It is situated by the lower course of the Aare River, which is why the canton is called Agau. It is one of the most densely populated regions of Switzerland. The area of Agau and the surrounding areas were controlled by the Helvetians, a member of the Celts, as far back as 200 BC. It was eventually occupied by the Romans and then by the 6th century, the Franks. The Romans built a major settlement called Vindonissa, near the present location of Brugg. Ara the reconstructed old high German name of Agau is Argo, first unambiguously attested in 795. The term described a territory only loosely equivalent to that of the modern canton, including the region between Are and Rus rivers, including Pilatus and Napf, I. E. Including parts of the modern cantons of Bern, Zolotorn, Basel Landschaft, Lucerne, Abwalden and Nidwalden, but not the parts of the modern canton east of the Rus, which were part of Zurichau. Within the Frankish Empire, the area was a disputed border region between the duchies of Alemannia and Burgundy. A line of the von Wetterau intermittently held the countship of Agau from 750 until about 1030, when they lost it. This division became the ill-defined outer border of the early Holy Roman Empire at its formation in the second half of the 10th century. Most of the region came under the control of the Ducal House of Zaringen and the Comital Houses of Habsburg and Kyberg by about 1200. In the second half of the 13th century, the territory became divided between the territories claimed by the imperial cities of Bern, Lucerne and Zollotorn and the Swiss canton of Unterwalden. The remaining portion, largely corresponding to the modern canton of Agau, remained under the control of the Habsburgs until the conquest of Agau by the old Swiss Confederacy in 1415. Habsburg Castle itself, the original seat of the House of Habsburg, was taken by Bern in April 1415. The Habsburgs had founded a number of monasteries, the closing of which by the government in 1841 was a contributing factor to the outbreak of the Swiss Civil War, the Sunderbund War, in 1847. Switzerland in 1416, showing the part of the Agau under Bernese control, the county of Baden and the Freie Amter. When Frederick IV of Habsburg sided with anti-Pope John XXIII at the Council of Constance, Emperor Sigismund placed him under the imperial ban. In July 1414, the Pope visited Bern and received assurances from them, that they would move against the Habsburgs. A few months later the Swiss Confederation denounced the Treaty of 1412. Shortly thereafter in 1415, Bern and then the rest of the Swiss Confederation used the ban as a pretext to invade the Agau. The Confederation was able to quickly conquer the towns of Arau, Lenzburg, Brugg and Zofinga along with most of the Habsburg castles. Bern kept the southwest portion, northward to the confluence of the Aare and Rus. The important city of Baden was taken by a united Swiss army and governed by all eight members of the confederation. Some districts, named the Freie Amter, Mellingen, Murray, Vilmergen, and Braingarten, with the Countship of Baden, were governed as subject lands by all or some of the confederates. Shortly after the conquest of the Agau by the Swiss, Frederick humbled himself to the Pope. The Pope reconciled with him and ordered all of the taken lands to be returned. The Swiss refused and years later after no serious attempts at reacquisition, the Duke officially relinquished rights to the Swiss. Districts in Bernese controlled Unterargau Bern's portion of the Agau came to be known as the Unterargau, though can also be called the Berner or Bernese Agau. In 1514 Bern expanded north into the Jura and so came into possession of several strategically important mountain passes into the Austrian Fractal. This land was added to the Unterargau and was directly ruled from Bern. It was divided into seven rural bailiwicks and four administrative cities, Arau, Zofingen, Lenzburg and Brugg. While the Habsburgs were driven out, many of their minor nobles were allowed to keep their lands and offices, 
though over time they lost power to the Bernese government. The Bailiwick administration was based on a very small staff of officials, mostly made up of Bernese citizens, but with a few locals. When Bern converted during the Protestant Reformation in 1528, the Unterargau also converted. At the beginning of the 16th century a number of Anabaptists migrated into the upper Winnen and Ruder valleys from Zurich. Despite pressure from the Bernese authorities in the 16th and 17th centuries Anabaptism never entirely disappeared from the Unterargau. Bern used the Agau Bailiwicks mostly as a source of grain for the rest of the city-state. The administrative cities remained economically only of regional importance. However, in the 17th and 18th centuries Bern encouraged industrial development in Unterargau and by the late 18th century it was the most industrialized region in the city-state. The high industrialization led to high population growth in the 18th century, for example between 1764 and 1798, the population grew by 35%, far more than in other parts of the canton. In 1870 the proportion of farmers in Aarau, Lenzburg, Köln, and Zofingen districts was 34 to 40 percent, while in the other districts it was 46 to 57 percent. Map of the Freie Amter, including the 1712 line dividing the upper and lower Freie Amter the rest of the Freie Amter were collectively administered as subject territories by the rest of the Confederation. Murray AMT was assigned to Zurich, Lucerne, Schwitz, Underwalden, Zug, and Glarus, while the Amter of Mainburg, Richensee and Vilmergen were first given to Lucerne alone. The final boundary was set in 1425 by an arbitration tribunal and Lucerne had to give the three Amter to be collectively ruled. The four Amter were then consolidated under a single confederation bailiff into what was known in the 15th century as the Wagentel Bailiwick. In the 16th century, it came to be known as the Vogte der Freien Amter. While the Freienamter often had independent lower courts, they were forced to accept the Confederation's sovereignty. Finally, in 1532, the canton of Uri became part of the collective administration of the Freienamter. At the time of the Protestant Reformation, the majority of the Amter converted to the new faith. In 1529, a wave of iconoclasm swept through the area and wiped away much of the old religion. After the defeat of Zurich in the Second Battle of Koppel in 1531, the victorious five Catholic cantons marched their troops into the Freie Amter and reconverted them to Catholicism. In the First War of Vilmergen, in 1656, and the Toggenburg War, in 1712, the Freie Amter became the staging ground for the warring Reformed and Catholic armies. While the peace after the 1656 war did not change the status quo, the fourth peace of Arau in 1712 brought about a reorganization of power relations. The victory gave Zurich the opportunity to force the Catholic cantons out of the government in the county of Baden and in the adjacent area of the Freie Amter. The Freie Amter were then divided in two by a line drawn from the gallows in Farwang into the Oberlunkhofen church steeple. The northern part, the so-called Unteren Freie Amter, which included the districts of Boswell and Hermetschville and the Niederamt, were ruled by Zurich, Bern, and Glarus. The southern part, the Ober and Freie Amter, were ruled by the previous seven cantons but Bern was added to make an eighth. During the Helvetic Republic, the county of Baden, the Freie Amter and the area known as the Kelleramp were combined into the canton of Baden. County of Baden The county of Baden was a shared condominium of the entire old Swiss Confederacy. After the Confederacy conquest in 1415, they retained much of the Habsburg legal structure, which caused a number of problems. The local nobility had the right to hold the low court in only about one-fifth of the territory. There were over 30 different nobles who had the right to hold courts scattered around the surrounding lands. All these overlapping jurisdictions caused numerous conflicts, but gradually the Confederation was able to acquire these rights in the county. The cities of Baden, Braingarten and Mellingen became the administrative centers and held the high courts. Together with the courts, the three administrative centers had considerable local autonomy, but were ruled by a governor who was appointed by the Octorte every two years. After the Protestant victory at the Second Battle of Vilmergen, 
the administration of the county changed slightly. Instead of the Oct Orte appointing a bailiff together, Zurich and Bernich appointed the governor for seven out of sixteen years while Glarus appointed him for the remaining two years. The chaotic legal structure and fragmented land ownership combined with a tradition of dividing the land among all the heirs in an inheritance prevented any large-scale reforms. The governor tried in the 18th century to reform and standardize laws and ownership across the county, but with limited success. With an ever-changing administration, the county lacked a coherent long-term economic policy or support for reforms. By the end of the 18th century there were no factories or mills and only a few small cottage industries along the border with Zurich. Road construction first became a priority after 1750, when Zurich and Bern began appointing a governor for seven years. During the Protestant Reformation, some of the municipalities converted to the new faith. However, starting in 1531, some of the old parishes were converted back to the old faith. The governors were appointed from both Catholic and Protestant cantons and since they changed every two years, neither faith gained a majority in the county. After the French invasion, on March 19, 1798, the governments of Zurich and Bern agreed to the creation of the short-lived canton of Baden in the Helvetic Republic. With the Act of Mediation in 1803, the canton of Baden was dissolved. Portions of the lands of the former county of Baden now became the district of Baden and the newly created canton of Aagau. After World War II, this formerly agrarian region saw striking growth and became the district with the largest and densest population in the canton. Helvetic Republic c. 1798-99, with the newly created cantons of Aagau and Baden-Swiss Confederation following the 1803 Act of Mediation, with the modern canton of Aagau formed the contemporary canton of Aagau was formed in 1803. A canton of the Swiss Confederation as a result of the act of mediation. It was a combination of three short-lived cantons of the Helvetic Republic, Aagau, Baden and Fricktal. Its creation is therefore rooted in the Napoleonic era. In the year 2003, the canton of Aagau celebrated its 200th anniversary. French forces occupied the Aagau from 10 March to April 18, 1798, Thereafter the Bernese portion became the canton of Aagau and the remainder formed the canton of Baden. Aborted plans to merge the two halves came in 1801 and 1802, and they were eventually united under the name Aagau, which was then admitted as a full member of the reconstituted confederation following the act of mediation. Some parts of the canton of Baden at this point were transferred to other cantons, the AMT of Hitzkirch to Lucerne, whilst Hudikon, Etwil and Der Limot, Dietikon and Schlieren went to Zurich. In return, Lucerne's AMT of Marangvan was transferred to Aagau. The Fricktal, ceded in 1802 by Austria via Napoleonic France to the Helvetic Republic, was briefly a separate canton of the Helvetic Republic under a Stachthalter. But on March 19, 1803, was incorporated into the canton of Aagau. The former cantons of Baden and Fricktal can still be identified with the contemporary districts. The canton of Baden is covered by the districts of Zurzach, Baden, Bremgarten, and Murray albeit. With the gains and losses of 1803 detailed above, the canton of Fricktal by the districts of Rheinfelden and Laufenberg. The chief magistracy of Aagau changed its style repeatedly, two separate doors on a house in Langnau in the 17th century, Aagau was the only federal condominium where Jews were tolerated. In 1774, they were restricted to just two towns, and Dingen and Langnau. While the rural upper class pressed incessantly for the expulsion of the Jews, the financial interests of the authorities prevented it. They imposed special taxes on peddling and cattle trading, the primary Jewish professions. The Protestant occupiers also enjoyed the discomfort of the local Catholics by the presence of the Jewish community. The Jews were directly subordinate to the governor. From 1696, they were compelled to renew a letter of protection from him every 16 years. During this period, Jews and Christians were not allowed to live under the same roof, neither were Jews allowed to own land or houses. They were taxed at a much higher rate than others and, in 1712, the Langnau community was pillaged. In 1760, they were further restricted regarding marriages and procreation. An exorbitant tax was levied on marriage licenses, oftentimes, they were outright refused.
This remained the case until the 19th century. In 1799, the Helvetic Republic abolished all special tolls, and, in 1802, removed the poll tax. On May 5, 1809, they were declared citizens and given broad rights regarding trade and farming. They were still restricted to Indingen and Langnau until May 7, 1846, when their right to move and reside freely within the canton of Aargau was granted. On September 24, 1856, the Swiss Federal Council granted them full political rights within Aargau, as well as broad business rights, however the majority Christian population did not fully abide by these new liberal laws. The time of 1860 saw the Canton government voting to grant suffrage in all local rights and to give their communities autonomy. Before the law was enacted, it was however repealed due to vocal opposition led by the Ultramani party. Finally, the federal authorities in July 1863, granted all Jews full rights of citizens. However, they did not receive all of the rights in Ndingen and Lengnau until a resolution of the Grand Council, on May 15, 1877, granted citizens' rights to the members of the Jewish communities of those places. Giving them charters under the names of New Indingen and New Langnau. The Swiss Jewish Kulturverein was instrumental in this fight from its founding in 1862 until it was dissolved 20 years later. During this period of diminished rights, they were not even allowed to bury their dead in Swiss soil and had to bury their dead on an island called Judinal on the Rhine near Waldshut. Beginning in 1603, the deceased Jews of the Serbtal communities were buried on the river island which was leased by the Jewish community. As the island was repeatedly flooded and devastated, in 1750 the Serbtal Jews asked the Tagsatzung to establish the Indingen Cemetery in the vicinity of their communities. View of the Lagern from Bozberg the capital of the canton is Aro, which is located on its western border, on the Aare. The canton borders Germany to the north, the Rhine forming the border. To the west lie the Swiss cantons of Basel Landschaft, Solothurn and Bern, the canton of Lucerne lies south, and Zurich and Zug to the east. Its total area is 1,404 square kilometers. Besides the Rhine, it contains two large rivers, the Aare and the Rus. The canton of Aargau is one of the least mountainous Swiss cantons, forming part of a great tableland, to the north of the Alps and the east of the Jura, above which rise low hills. The surface of the country is diversified with undulating tracks and well-wooded hills, alternating with fertile valleys watered mainly by the Aare and its tributaries. The valleys alternate with hills, many of which are wooded. Slightly over one-third of the canton is wooded, while nearly half is used from farming. 33. 5 square kilometers or about 2. 4 percent of the canton is considered unproductive, mostly lakes and streams. With a population density of 450 km2, the canton has a relatively high amount of land used for human development, with 216. 7 square kilometers or about 15% of the canton developed for housing or transportation. It contains the hot sulfur springs of Baden and Skynsnichbad, while at Rheinfelden there are very extensive saline springs. Just below Brug the Rus and the Limot join the R, while around Brug are the ruined castle of Habsburg the old convent of Konigsfelden and the remains of the Roman settlement of Vindonissa. Far Monastery forms a small exclave of the canton, otherwise surrounded by the canton of Zurich, and since 2008 is part of the Agau municipality of Vurenlos. Districts in Agau Agau is divided into 11 districts, the most recent change in district boundaries occurred in 2010 when Hotwell transferred from Brug to Laufenburg, following its merger with other municipalities, all of which were in Laufenburg. There are 213 municipalities in the canton of Aargau. As with most Swiss cantons there has been a trend since the early 2000s for municipalities to merge, though mergers in Aargau have so far been less radical than in other cantons. The blazon of the coat of arms is per pale, dexter, sable, a fess wavy argent, charged with two katizes wavy azure, sinister, sky blue, three mullets of five argent. The flag and arms of the canton of Aargau date to 1803 and are an original design by Samuel Ringier Sealmatter. The current official design, specifying the stars as five-pointed, dates to 1930. Aargau has a population of 694,072. As of 2010, 21.
5% of the population are resident foreign nationals. Over the last 10 years the population has changed at a rate of 11%. Migration accounted for 8.7%, while births and deaths accounted for 2.8%. Most of the population speaks German as their first language, Italian is the second most common and Serbo-Croatian is the third. There are 4,151 people who speak French and 618 people who speak Romanche. Of the population in the canton, 146,421 or about 26. 7% were born in Agao and lived there in 2000. There were 140,768 or 25. 7% who were born in the same canton, while 136,865 or 25. 0% were born somewhere else in Switzerland, and 107,396 or 19. 6% were born outside of Switzerland. As of 2000, children and teenagers make up 24. Three percent of the population, while adults make up 62. Three percent and seniors make up 13. Four percent. As of 2000, there were 227,656 people who were single and never married in the canton. There were 264,939 married individuals, 27,603 widows or widowers and 27,295 individuals who are divorced. As of 2000, there were 224,128 private households in the canton, and an average of 2.4 persons per household. There were 69,062 households that consist of only one person and 16,254 households with five or more people. As of 2009, the construction rate of new housing units was 6.5 new units per 1,000 residents. The vacancy rate for the canton, in 2010, was 1.54%. The majority of the population is centered on one of three areas, the RA Valley, the side branches of the RA Valley, or along the Rhine. The historical population is given in the following chart. In the 2011 federal election, the most popular party was the SVP which received 34.7% of the vote. The next three most popular parties were the SP-PS, the FTP and the CVP. The SVP received about the same percentage of the vote as they did in the 2007 federal election. The SPS retained about the same popularity, the FTP retained about the same popularity and the CVP retained about the same popularity. The Grand Council of the Canton of Agao is called Grosserrat. It is the legislature of the canton, has 140 seats, with members elected every four years. Catholic City Church in Baden, Agao from the 2000 census, 219,840. 1% were Roman Catholic, while 189,606 or 34. 6% belong to the Swiss Reformed Church. Of the rest of the population, there were 11,523 members of an Orthodox Church, there were 3,418 individuals who belong to the Christian Catholic Church. And there were 29,580 individuals who belong to another Christian Church. There were 342 individuals who were Jewish, and 30,072 who were Muslim. There were 1,463 individuals who were Buddhist, 2,089 individuals who were Hindu and 495 individuals who belonged to another church. 57,573 belonged to no church, are agnostic or atheist, and 15,875 individuals did not answer the question. In Agao about 212,069 or of the population have completed non-mandatory upper secondary education and 70,896 or have completed additional higher education. Of the 70,896 who completed tertiary schooling, 63. 6% were Swiss men, 20. 9% were Swiss women, 10. 4% were non-Swiss men and 5. 2% were non-Swiss women. Lipschott Nuclear Power Plant as of 2010, Agao had an unemployment rate of 3. 6%. As of 2008, there were 11,436 people employed in the primary economic sector and about 3,927 businesses involved in this sector. 
95,844 people were employed in the secondary sector and there were 6,055 businesses in this sector. One hundred seventy seven thousand seven hundred eighty two people were employed in the tertiary sector, with twenty one thousand five hundred thirty businesses in this sector. In two thousand eight, the total number of full time equivalent jobs was two hundred thirty eight thousand two hundred twenty five. The number of jobs in the primary sector was seven thousand one hundred sixty seven, of which six thousand seven hundred thirty one were in agriculture, four hundred eighteen were in forestry or lumber production, and eighteen were in fishing or fisheries. The number of jobs in the secondary sector was 90,274 of which 64,089 or were in manufacturing, 366 or were in mining and 21,705 were in construction. The number of jobs in the tertiary sector was 140,784. In the tertiary sector, 38,793 or 27.6% were in the sale or repair of motor vehicles, 13,624 or 9. 7% were in the movement and storage of goods, 8,150 or 5. 8% were in a hotel or restaurant, 5,164 or 3. 7% were in the information industry, 5,946 or 4. 2% were the insurance or financial industry, 14,831 or 10. 5% were technical professionals or scientists, 10,951 or 7. 8% were in education and 21,952 or 15. 6% were in healthcare. Of the working population, 19. 5% used public transportation to get to work, and 55. 3% used a private car. Public transportation, Bus and train is provided by Busbetry of ROAG. The farmland of the canton of Agau is some of the most fertile in Switzerland. Dairy farming, cereal and fruit farming are among the canton's main economic activities. The canton is also industrially developed, particularly in the fields of electrical engineering, precision instruments, iron, steel, cement and textiles. Three of Switzerland's five nuclear power plants are in the canton of Agau. Additionally, the many rivers supply enough water for numerous hydroelectric power plants throughout the canton. The canton of Agau is often called the energy canton. A significant number of people commute into the financial center of the city of Zurich, which is just across the cantonal border. As such the per capita cantonal income is 49,209 Swiss francs. Tourism is significant, particularly for the hot springs at Baden and Skynsnichbad, the ancient castles, the landscape, and the many old museums in the canton. Hillwalking is another tourist attraction but it is of only limited significance. Thanks for watching.